Oh, you've had a passion for hapaka well before you became a chef. Now, how did that come about? Uh, well, I've had a passion for, for fishing full stop from, from a very early age, and, um, and certainly I have a real affinity with, with the hapaka. Um, I grew up uh, in the Wairapa, and, and our holidays were in the, um, in, the, in the Castle Point campground out on the coast, and, and uh, those are my first sort of memories of, of being by the sea and uh, being around fish and shellfish. So, um, and that was from a very early age, and, and uh, my father used to be, he was a, a very keen fisherman, and, uh, and I, was still a, I was still a toddler, so I never really got to, um, you know, as a young, you know, I can still remember, I, I still, uh, people still remind me of me stamping my feet, wanting to go out in the boat when I was a child, and, but I was too young. So, you know, that must have been three or four, and I'd see dad and his mate disappear around the point or, or out over the horizon to go and, catch a feed or set a net and um, very poignant moments for me and, and, and certainly the day that uh, they first came back with two hapuka and as a child and I must have been probably three or four the size of those fish is still uh, it's just etched in my memory I couldn't believe that a fish could get that big um, and we looked at them and you know I, you know, I could re I remember telling all my friends you know I could put my head inside the mouth of this fish it was so big but um, so th they were, you know, they were incredible days. And so I've had, and, and I still remember them cutting up this fish and it was so big on the board and trying to get the fillets off and we staked the tails. And those sort of food memories for me as a chef too were, um, you know, at that age we'd be able to gather power or pippies and that sort of thing. But always when we cooked the harpook or we cooked the fish, that was always the best part of the day for me. And so, and I still remember you know, we used to stake the harpooka and cook these massive steaks. And I still remember, you know, and I squeeze a lemon juice and that's all. And sitting around, you know, on camp chairs, eating this fish, extraordinary experience.